Hey everyone, Senrai Kai here. Today I'm going to be checking out the first episode of an anime called Kunoichi Tsubaki no Mune no Uchi. So, yeah, this is a show about Kunoichi, judging by the title, and a comedy show. That's pretty much the extent of what I know about it, but just take a one glance at it. It looks like the kind of thing I could have a lot of fun uh, watching. And the very first frame of the show has like a very beautiful shot of the moon and stuff, so... Very promising opening shot. So, but yeah, a show about Kunoichi that really does sound like an exciting prospect to me, so I'm pretty eager to jump into it and see if we can have some fun watching it. So, before I do though, since this is the start of a new show, I do have to explain to you my reaction format. I did not show the anime footage in this video because of YouTube copyright issues. I show you subtitles from the show down there, and it'll be next to a timer, so you can get your own copy of the show, get it all synced up with my reaction, then we can watch the, the show together. So, if you're okay with all that, then you're more than welcome to stick around and join me on this journey, so... Let's jump in. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, really ninja-like music right off the right off the gate. Should I be offended? <laughs> nice landing. Why? Why are you Doki Doki? Uh, the, we're already getting the moon eye being relevant in the episode. Uh, the moon and Uchi. Moon and Uchi. Yeah, it's a gorgeous moon. <laughs> That's a good question. I guess we'll learn more about her hearts in the course of this show. Men are dangerous. Missing. Are they not supposed to do that? Goofing off. Team Dog. What's special about tonight? Yeah, asking the important questions. Aoi class? Sounds better than Team Dog. I guess you could call it that. You know, I really hurt my feelings, girls. I don't appreciate it. I mean... Occasionally. Barbarous. She sure shut them up. Yeah, <laughs> I think that might be a thing. So we have the premise of our mission. So I take it she's going to run into a man that's going to make her moon and go doki doki. I, I, it seems like that's where this is going. She really got that Naruto running, running down. Sasanka is such a weird name, I'm gonna have trouble remembering that. Yeah, the visuals have so far been pretty good. And these are our missing ninjas. Missing Kunoichi. There's like kind of flying. I love the character designs though. The characters look great. Oh, 
Oh, she's fallen. I feel like I was too late to warn you. Let me get this girl a snack. Are you alive? Okay, she's okay. Am I in a way? Probably. I'm right here. Wait, what do you need? Oh, is this like a possession or something? <laughs> oh, okay. So it's like a transformation jutsu. Gotcha. Well, sort of substitution. <laughs> Yeah, just, you know, just happen to happen. Nothing intentional. <laughs> I'm definitely curious to see how this is actually going to go. Yeah, dragging her into this. She just wants to sleep and eat. I mean, it's hard to say mad at her. <laughs> That's a devious kind of look. Oh, oh, okay. Wow, she walked into that one. I was slick. Ugh. I don't know if she'll praise you after you tied her up and tricked her and all that. Let the negatives outweigh the pros and this sort of thing. Yeah, bad girl definitely needs to get punished. It really wasn't. You seem pretty confident in that. I don't... I don't know if that's true. Oh wow, she already caught up. <laughs> I hope we get a spanking soon. <laughs> I just love seeing ninjas being ninjas bounty from tree to tree. It always looks so cool. <laughs> like visually, the anime just looked really good. <laughs> Got you. Well, <laughs> your turn. Flame Jutsu? Wow, it really is. <laughs> it's like... Shoo, shoo, shoo. <laughs> Getting some hard Naruto vibes with some of the stuff. <laughs> uh, how did that work out for you? <laughs> Hi. Well, they gave it their best shot. I feel like they're probably going to get away again, though. And man, that girl's flat. <laughs> Even her. <laughs> her crying voice. It's actually kind of heartbreaking, almost. Did they just cut the... no. That's like that's a clash and a blade sound. Is there a battle going on nearby? Like kunai knives clash? Yeah. <laughs> what are you basing it off of? We still haven't actually seen a man in the show yet. Oh, we already have the Doki Doki. <laughs> Being corrupted. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I feel like we're going to one way or the other. Because she doesn't want you getting pregnant. I think they call that puberty, I don't know. Spy. That's the other show that comes out today. Uh... I feel like it's not going to end at just watching. <laughs> I don't think she said that. Man, they're really building this up. Oh, it's definitely a man's voice. Uh, there's somebody back there. And her heart's about to, her heart's, her heart's about to explode. <laughs> Cause it was a man and he was scary. <laughs> <laughs> I know that was probably the bubbles popping sound, but I like to imagine that was just a slap. I think so. And then you see a girl. Oh wow, she really is close. Nice way to wake up though. <laughs> like her just general lane pose that she has the leg kicking and all that so yeah so far it seems that they're having men be like this mysterious you know existence it's quite the scar ow I think I scratched myself Also, it's a nice shot here. Oh, God, you think you have enough? Jeez. <laughs> I mean, we see where it goes. She's got a point. <laughs> Short girl needs to eat more. <laughs> okay, you too. And her top is just like a like a bandage. <laughs> you got some feet feeding each other back there. Very nice. <laughs> She's doing her best. So yeah, essentially they're like cafeteria area. Asagawa was definitely the name I'm rem remembering the best. <laughs> I was thinking I got some rice. <laughs> it's a great impression. <laughs> yeah, seriously, the animation, everything is so good. Most better than I expected. That's a name. Benny Sumomo. <laughs> She's kinda popped up from back there. I wonder if they had more experience with men if their opinions would change at all. It was a very manly voice. <laughs> what an Otome kind of face. 
Where do you get this information from is what I want to know. <sighs> My sober seem is just plummeting as I watch this show. Okay. <laughs> Shibaki, I think she's talking to you. Yes, ma'am. That was a bit of a stretch. The girl definitely is a bit obsessed. Cool, I guess. Yeah, there's just so many names, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to remember all these. Or any of these. Monkey. Yeah, she seems quite nice. Mokuden. Mokuden. <laughs> well, I mean, you did your best. They should talk about men a lot. <laughs> I see. Right. She's like full koala. Damn, that five head. So we have one of these girls. <laughs> we definitely have a variety of like height of height of characters in this show. Oh, she looks cool. <laughs> <laughs> Just gonna carry this away. We gotta grab some more water, so I'm currently waterless right now. <laughs> no arguments from here. <laughs> well, understandable. I do like how they call her Neesama. Oh, gotta show them how to do it? <laughs> show them what a cool, skilled kunoichi you are? <laughs> Sasuke Neesama. More like cool ninja music, too. Are we still going? Like, you just you keep seeing the same stuff over and over again, like it's new and exciting information. Like, even if it wasn't wrong, it would still get annoying after a while. <laughs> I was just gonna go. They said the word again. Uh, I don't. <laughs> I don't think it worked. <laughs> I mean, it's. I, I would still call it a success. Success though. Smart girl. She's picking it up. Picking up on it. <laughs> yeah, she's finally at pick up a both size for you. Now she can be the koala.
secret conversation about me. I'm not sure fear is what it is. <laughs> what kind of experiment are we talking about? Okay. Are they gonna like say the word when she tries to do it? Yeah. That'll be all the proof they need that whatever the problem is, men are the root of it. You're gonna fail. Oh! <laughs> I, I, well, I, I, I was not ready for that. Wow. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, now I lost my focus, jeez. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> Man, that ASMR voice. Uh. Is she gonna... <laughs> Damn. I think it's gonna evaporate something. <laughs> oh jeez. Is that is that a success? That's taking a lot of chakra. <laughs> Cause it got, you know, the fire going on and going inside of her. Having this theme is a nice touch though. ED. That person actually went by quick, pretty quickly. Actually, did we get an opening? I actually don't remember. This might be the opening. All of our faceless girls. Yeah, taking the trio are like our main characters. Tabaki, Asagao, and Z Z Z Zaranka. The other girl's name's a bit harder. <laughs> Oh. Are we really going to show it? I feel like it's not going to go very well. Because all, we, all we really saw was a silhouette, I think. <laughs> I mean, maybe it's a male fish, but not quite right. Effort and giftedness escape plan with Neosama. Okay, with Neosama, so they're all gonna try to escape this time? I don't know. But that was the first episode of Kunoichi Tsubaki Mune no Uchi, something like that. So, yeah, we have our we have our show, and basically like a ninja village sort of thing where they are clearly training to be Kunoichi. That is pretty much what we got here. We have Sazanka is her name, yeah. 
Suzanka. Tsubaki, I mean, she's like our titular character, so naturally she's like the main, main character. And the first real assignment she had was to basically get back a couple members of her, her unit, right, Team Dog? That, that, was, that was basically what she had to do first, and we had a lot of fun with that. The girls doing their best to try to escape from her, you know, like the crocodile tears, the, the, tie, the whole tying thing, you know, flipping out of it. Pretty cool stuff, you know, as expected of like ninjas. And we even got to see some cool like fire jutsu. A lot of cool stuff and as I said, a lot of good visuals throughout the episode. Like I had very low expectations when it came, when it comes to, when it came to like animation and stuff like that for this show. But it definitely passed those expectations for sure. <sighs> but yeah, that pretty much took up the first half of the episode, like getting them back. But their brilliant idea, I guess, was to go beat up men and get praise from Neesama. I, I guess she seemed to believe that's how that worked. But yeah, um, she definitely likes Neesama a lot. Like, we got a lot of hugging, we got some ear nibbling, we have some sleeping together, so... Yeah, definitely she likes her a lot, I really got that impression. And then, yeah, pretty much after we got back, we got a really good look at all the different characters and all sorts of really interesting, good-looking character designs throughout. Different heights, different personalities. You know, one girl had, like, a scar on her forehead. Somehow just, like, these bandage tops. We had one shot of one girl feeding another girl, right? And the only real negative here is just how much they just say mean things about men, you know? Obviously, it comes from a place of ignorance, so I can't really be too mad at them. And I mean, they are Kunoichi, which, you know, Kunoichi, they have obviously have a very specific kind of role in regards to men, given their profession, right? So, you definitely understand there being some potential for misinformation and stuff amongst those, those types in an academy. But, like I said, they don't really have much experience with men at all, not even sure what they look like, right? So... Obviously, if they ever did meet up with men and interact with them for five minutes, they'd probably realize a lot of their preconceived notions are just wrong. I mean, so obviously, some of it was right, like the fact that the crotch is the weak point of a man. That is definitely an odd sort of thing. That in general, men are much stronger and defensive than women, but they have one very specific weak point. It is a bit of an odd thing, but, you know, if you're aware of the weak point, you can be conscious of it and, you know, defend it if, if your enemy goes for it, right? So it's not like it's the end of the world or anything, but it is a weakness that's got to be compensated for. But, aside from that, it was just a bunch of wrong information for the most part. But, I love how just alive they managed to make the the, the environment see, right? Like, a lot of the characters, most of them they weren't really super relevant to the episode, but you could still see them, like, at the back and doing various things, interacting with each other. I really do love that koala hug. <laughs> that was great. And we had the one girl that's from the monkey, Team Monkey, that's all about challenging and stuff like that. Wants, I guess, the title of dog. I, I don't know exactly how all that worked, but... She's not a big fan of Monkey, I guess, for some reason, but, yeah, then she's, later in the episode, she sees her do this massive fire jutsu, and I think that may have scared her a little bit, but, but yeah, we got to see all the pretty classic ninja stuff, like kunai knife, kunai's, uh, sh shuriken, fire jutsu, you know, tying, like, subs, transformation jutsu, substitution jutsu, right? A lot of good, a lot, a lot of stuff you associate with ninjas, a lot of the cool stuff we got to see in the episode. Even though there wasn't really like any big battles battles or anything, it was just like training, you know, and escaping kind of stuff. But still got to see those things, which is cool. I don't know if we'll actually will get any cool battles between characters in the episode, because it is essentially a comedy anime, but hopefully we can get some, like, battling, even if it's just like a mock battle. That'd be cool. I'm curious what kind of role men are going to play in the episode. Because it seems like it's just going to always be this mysterious existence that's just kind of like always outside of their field of relevance, right? That they just... That they just kind of admire from afar or, you know, think about from afar. The fact that the only man we saw was like kind of like a dark silhouette and only the voice kind of lead me, leads me to kind of think that. But... Not too much more to say on the episode beyond that, like, aside from the, the you know, verbal men ab abuse towards men, I liked all the, all the characters, found them cute, great character designs, just general fun interactions between each other, really like how Kan, Kanzaka, the, the one girl, I like how much she likes Tsubaki, I definitely enjoyed that pairing a lot. And just in general, the three of them as a trio was, was a lot of fun there. But... 
There was just so much rice in that bowl. But yeah, good first episode. I think I will continue watching it going forward. At least for th at least give it the three episode treatment, see where it's going, and then maybe decide from there. But for the most part, I was happy with the first episode. So uh, that's all I really got to say. Hopefully you enjoy you enjoy my reaction to it, and hope to see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.